Good morning, everybody. Mr. Flanders here, and welcome to day four of our ELA and our spelling at home. Uh, today, we're going to be looking at our worksheet that features the sounds m and r. Okay, so make sure you have this worksheet in front of you, along with this lovely spelling worksheet where we're going to use our spelling words in a sentence. Ooh, ah, I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and look at our first worksheet. Uh, before we be really get started with it, though, let's go ahead and write our names because we need to make sure we know who is doing the work. All right, Mr. Flanders. So today, we're going to be focusing on two of our phonic sounds. We're going to be focusing on M mm and R. I'll say that again. M. Mm and r. Okay? And what we need to do with this worksheet is we need to figure out where the m fits best to complete a word and where the r fits best to complete a word. Now, here's what's going to happen with this part of the worksheet. Uh, we are not going to color anything right now because I know some of you might be looking at this like, what? What is going on? Okay? This is a coloring worksheet as well as a phonics worksheet, but we are not coloring it yet. Instead, what we're going to be doing is just focusing on where those sounds go. And then after I'm done with that, you guys will get a chance to, to color. Okay? But before we can color, like I said, we've got to do the worksheet. So let's jump right into it. We have two sounds we're working with, m and r. And we have to figure out which sound is used to finish these words. A uh, couple of other sounds to consider as we are getting started. For some of my friends who might not remember, anytime you have a line over a letter like this, it is going to make that letter sound. So this sound right here would say O, oh, O, oh. okay? And you see this tiny little baby A. The baby A is silent. We're not saying anything for that A. So we're not going O, A, D. No, that A is quiet. You'll also notice ING has a line over it. That's because ING goes ing, ing, ing. ING goes ing, ing, ing. Okay? All right. Let's see. A couple other ones to remember. You've got the I here. Okay? The little baby I has the line over it, so it says I. The E has the line over it, so it says E. Okay? couple of little baby sounds that you'll see and then we've got a couple of others that I want you to really focus on you'll notice that TH is together right here and most of the time when you get a TH together it makes what sound do you remember th th like the or that this there those th th and then you have the ER together, which says er. Er. ER goes er, like a zombie. Er. Okay. One other sound I want you to remember this double O sound. Okay. You're going to run into a lot of words that have the double O sound. And sometimes it sounds like it should be one way, sometimes it sounds like another way. For this particular worksheet, we're going to be saying ooh, ooh, okay? So remember that when we come to this word later, ooh. For now, let's go ahead and dive in, start getting some of these missing sounds plugged in. We're going to start with our first word here, blank owed, blank owed. What sound? would best finish this word? The m or the r? Let's try m first. m ode mode. I mean, mode is a word, but it's not spelled that way. What about with this r? r, r, ode, road. Does the r fit there? That it does. So we're going to go ahead and plug that R right in there. And I apologize. The lights in the classroom just turned off. That's a little weird. So I'm going to turn on 
the hover cam light. There we go. It's a little bit better. Kind of, sort of. So yes, we just plugged in the R there for road. Road. Okay. Let's look at this next word. Blank ed. Blank ed. Would m ed fit best or r ed? M ed, r ed. R fits best. R ed, red. Very good, my friends. Very good. All right. Next one. Blank ub. Blank ub. Would the m ub make sense? Or r ub? M ub or r ub? Rub. So the R should be the letter that goes there. Very good. Okay. Next up. Blank eyed. Blank eyed. Remember this E is tiny. It's a little baby. So we don't say that sound. Blank eyed. Would it be m eyed? Mide or r eyed? It's going to be r eyed. R eyed. Ride. All right, very good. Very good. So far we've got road, red, rub, and ride. Very good. All right. Give you guys a couple more seconds to catch up. I don't want to feel like I'm rushing you too much. All right. Next word. Blank is. Blank is. M is. M is or r is m is miss or r is ris I think we should use the m sound m mm. oh my goodness what is that terrible Mr. Flanders you're a teacher what are you doing terrible you made a silly m m Mm, mm, is, miss. That is our word. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. I can't believe I did that. I'm supposed to be a teacher. Terrible. All right. So we've got the word miss. We've used our first mm sound of this worksheet. Let's jump on to the next one. Blank eyed ing. Blank eyed Ing, eiding. Should we put the M there for m eiding? Miding? That doesn't sound like a word. What about the R? R eiding? R eiding? Riding? Does that make sense? That it does, my friends. Just plug that R in right there. Riding. R eiding, writing. Very good. Okay, moving on. Let's try that r sound again for this next word. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna sound it out real quick, and then we'll put the r sound there. A uh, the er. A uh, the er. Other. So let's try that r sound. R other. Rather. What is a rather? Oh my god, I've never even heard of that. That is not a word. Let's try the mmm sound. Mmm, 
other. M other mother. Should we put the M sound there? That we should. M other mother. Very good, my friends. Very good. All right, let's keep going. Let's try this next word. Blank eed. Blank eed. Let's try it with the R. R eed. R eed. Read. Does that make sense? Read is a word. Go ahead and plug it in. Read. Oh, and the classroom lights just came back on. Weird. Okay. Pretty good, my friends. Pretty good. We just made the word read. Let's go ahead and move on to the next word. We're going to try it with this R sound again. Let's send it out real quick, though. Eat. Eat. Okay, with the R sound. R eat. R eat. Reet. What is a reet? No, it's not what we're looking for. No R. Let's try the uh, the m mm sound. M mm, eat. M mm, eat. Meat. Yup. I like to eat meat. My favorite is turkey. Mm -hmm. All right. Next word. Een. Een. Let's go and try it with that M sound again. M. Een. Mean. Is that a word? Darn tootin it is. Mean. Mean. Very good. Very good. So let's go over our words again real quick just to see what we've done so far. Our first word, road. Road. Our next word, red. Red. Rub. Rub. Ride. Ride. Miss. Riding. Mother. Mother. Read. Read. Meet. Meet. Mean. Mean. Very good, my friends. Very good. Very good. All right. Let's go ahead and jump into the next one. We're going to try the R sound with this one. Okay. And it's just just an E. So we just need to say E. So with the R sound. R E. R E. Re. Is that a word? No. Let's try it with the M sound. M E. M E. Me. Boom. Me. Very good, guys. Very good. All right. Let's try the next one. Blank it. Blank it. Let's try with the M sound again. Mm it. Mm it. T. Mit. Is that a word? Actually, yes, it is, guys. I heard some of my friends say, ah, they don't think so. But yes, mitt is a word. Like catcher's mitt. Okay? All right. Next one. 
Blank ud. Blank ud. Ud. Which one should we try? M mm or R? Okay, so my friend said R. Let's try it. R ud. R ud. Rud. Is that a word? No, that's not a word. We can't do that one. How about m mm, m mm, ud m mm, ud mud? That is correct. Mud. Next one. Blank up. Blank up. Uh, Is that going to be the R sound or the M mm sound? Let's try it with the R sound. R up. R up. Rop. Well, rop is not a word. So let's try it with the M sound. M mm up. M mm up. Mop. Does that make sense? That it does. Mop. Mop. I cleaned the floor with a mop. All right. We've only got a few left, guys. So let's go ahead and do this chunk first. These ones down here. And then we'll move to these last couple over here. All right. Go ahead and take a breath for a second. <gasps> Oh my goodness. Crazy stuff, guys. Lots of work. Stretch it out real quick. Stretch it out. I'm doing windmills. Windmills. Okay. I'm also doing finger exercises. Oh my goodness. All right. Here we go. Our next one. Blank. Un. Blank un. Let's try with the M. M un. M un. Mun. Is mun a word? No, mun is not a word, so we're not using the M. Let's try it with the R. I'm going to write it there. R un. R un. Run. Is that a word? It's very much a word. All right, next one. Blank um. Blank um. Let's try it with the M sound. Mm um. Mm um. Mom. Is that a word? It certainly is. Everybody says mom. Mom! Mom! That's the word right here. Mom. Okay. Next one. Blank ad. Blank ad. Blank ad. All right. Let's try it with the R. R ad. R ad. Rad. I mean, rad is kind of a word. I like it. Rad means cool, but that's not the word we're looking for. Let's try it with the M. M ad. M ad. Mad. Is that a word? Darn tootin'. Go ahead and put that M there. All right, next one. Ooh, this is a big one. I don't want to do it. Oh, you can't make me. Uh, okay, I guess we'll do it. Un-ing. 
an n ing an ing let's try the r r an ing r an ing running is running a word very much so Boop. there we go running very good job my friends very good job you guys are doing really good with your phonics sounds all right we've got one two three four left let's go ahead and start here and work our way up okay okay blank ab b it oh, this is a big word blank ab b it abbot what letter should go here let's try the m m mm, ab b it M mm, ab b it mabbit. Does that make sense? Nah, that doesn't sound like a word. Let's try with the R. R ab b it. R ab b it. Oh, let's try sounding that all together now. Rabbit. Oh, there's our word. Rabbit. Boom, baby. Okay. Very good. Very good. Next up, this word. Blank at. Blank at. At. Let's try with the M. M at. M at. Met. Oh, I think that fits there, my friends, because we just made the word met. Met. Very good. All right. Two more left. Two more. Blink oom. Remember, these double O's make the oo sound right now. Blink oom. Let's try it with the R. R oom. R oom. Room. Does it sound like the R should go there? Very much so. Let's go ahead and put that R there. We've just made the word room. Room. And our last one, ladies and gentlemen. Blink un s. Blink un s. Uns. Okay. Let's try it with the M sound. M uns. M uns. Muns. Does that sound right? No. Let's try the R. I'm even gonna write it in this one. R uns. R uns. Runs. That's the word runs. It fits. It works. Holy smokes, ladies and gentlemen. I think we're done with that one. Fantastic. All right. Go ahead and take a second, catch up, fill in any of the, uh, the blanks that you're missing. Wow, that is good. But we're only halfway done with this worksheet, guys. All right. Remember, I said that we get to color this. Now, here are the directions. All right? We have a hidden picture in this worksheet. Okay? It's totally hidden in there. 
And what you need to do is any word that we wrote mm there. So if we had to use mm right here, we're going to color it red. Any word that was finished with the mm sound is colored red. But any any word that was finished with the r sound, like this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, bunch of them, the r sound is going to be colored gold. Okay. Now I know what you're thinking. But Mr. Flanders, I don't have gold. That's okay. That's okay. If you don't have gold, what would be the next best color to use? Yellow. Just go ahead and use yellow if you don't have gold. And that is absolutely okay. All right? So just to, to say it one more time, any word that you used or any word that you finished with the mm sound is going to be red. And any word that you finished with the r sound is going to be gold or yellow. Okay? And that's what you're going to do to finish this worksheet. All right? Now, that is only half of what we need to do today, though, for our ELA and our spelling. So please, after you're done with that, flip your page over and take a look at this worksheet here. Okay? Now remember, if you're not done with that worksheet, it is okay to pause the video until you are done. I do not want you feeling rushed. Oh my goodness, I am yawning. I apologize, guys. Oh, and the lights came back on. What is happening? All right. So yes, this is our spelling assignment for the day. If you're not done with the other worksheet, though, uh, which you shouldn't be because you still have to color it, please feel free to pause the video. Uh, in the meantime, though, please follow along if you would like to pause you know, and, and color later. Uh, I'm going to write my name, though. Mr. Flanders. Here we go. Okay. So, the directions say, fill in the blank in each sentence with a word from the word bank. Use each word only once. Okay? Sounds simple enough. What we're going to do is we're going to look at the word bank here. Okay? The word bank has all of our spelling words for the week. It is our job to figure out which spelling words complete the sentences best. Okay? Now here is the deal I'm going to make with you. I will help with the first four spelling word sentences. You will do the last four on your own. Because I want to see if you've been practicing how to, to say and spell your, your spelling words, okay? So just to say it again, I'm going to help you with the first four. You have to do the last four on your own, okay? Let's go ahead and start with sentence number one. Actually, before we start with sentence number one, let me go ahead and go through and read all eight sentences to you so you might get an idea of what words might need to go where. So here's a reminder of the words that you have this week. Hat. Of. Mat. And. Cat. Cat the sat that and the sentences are the dog is black blank white number two I saw blank movie number three and blank on the chair. Number four. She wore a green blank. Number five. The blank is by the door. Number six. His blank is named Fluffy. Number seven, Jack is head blank, the team. The number eight, we closed blank door. Okay, so I'm going to help you with the first four. Then you're going to do the last four on your own. 
each time you use a word correctly, you are going to mark it out in the word bank so we don't get confused and try to use that word again. So number one, the dog is black, blank, white. The dog is black, blank, white. What word could finish this sentence? I'm going to start with our first word, hat. Let's see if that might finish the sentence. The dog is black, hat, white. The dog is black, hat, white. Does that make sense? No, absolutely not. Not at all. Not at all. We're not using hat there. Let's try the. The is always a good word to use. The dog is black, the, white. The dog is black, the, white. Nope, that doesn't fit either. Hmm. Is there any word that we could use that might finish this sentence? I heard somebody say it. I heard somebody say it. All right, let's try it. We're going to use the word and. The dog is black and white. The dog is black and white. Boom, baby. Cross it out. Dog is black and white. Fantastic. Go ahead and write the word and. Number two. I saw blank movie. I saw blank movie. I'm going to try of. I saw of movie. I saw of movie. Does that make sense? No, not at all. Not at all. How about that? I saw that movie. I saw that movie. Does that make sense? It does. So let's write the word that. Huzzah. That. All right, number three. Anne blank on the chair. Anne blank on the chair. Let's try, oh, I forgot to cross this out. Let's try Matt. Anne, Matt, on the chair. Anne, Matt, on the chair. Mm, that doesn't really fit. How about cat? Anne, cat, on the chair. Anne, cat, on the chair. Does that work? Nope, not at all. Let's try sat. Anne sat on the chair. Oh, I think we got a winner. Anne sat on the chair. Let's go ahead and write the word sat. Cross it out. S A T. Sat. Sat. All right, take a second longer, and we're going to look at number four. This is the last one I'm helping with, all right? She wore a green blank. She wore a green blank. What do you guys think? Do you have any guesses? Oh, okay, somebody said Matt, somebody said cat. 
she wore a green cat? Uh, not really. There's one that I heard, one that I heard that is the correct answer. Hat. She wore a green hat. Hat. I'm going to write it there. Hat. H-A-T. Hat. Very good. All right, my friends. That is it for me for today's lesson. All right, just to remind you, don't forget to go back to the phonics worksheet and color all of the words that start with the M red and all the words that start with the R gold or yellow. Otherwise, you are doing the rest of this worksheet on your own, but if you need any help with it, ask mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, whoever you need to, to message me on Dojo, and I will help out as much as I can. Otherwise, I'm going to get going. I will see you in the next lesson. Stay strong, stay safe, stay positive, and I'll catch you later.